Hey everyone, we're back with Women in Art. We have today Nampeo, who is a ceramic artist um, from 1859 to 1942. Nampeo was first internationally known as Native American ceramic artist and single-handedly sparked a renaissance in the art form. She was born in 1859 and grew up in the ancestral Hopi lands in Arizona. At the time, the traditional technique of making Hopi art was at a lost art, and the pots were made with thin, were thin and would crack. Nampeo would sh but, uh, found shards of old Hopi pottery that were made 300 years ago before she was born. The designs were geometric and intri intricate, and most important, the clay was smooth and strong. She studied the shards and figured out how much how to match the clay and recreate the designs. The result was pottery that was so as beautiful as that of her ancestors. Mpeo began teaching her methods to others and Hopi revival pottery movement was born. Napeo also used traditional natural dye techniques to paint her pots with colors. Uh, Siyaki means yellow house and Hopi and refers to the multicolor ceramic style. Many of the geometric designs on Numpeo's ceramic ceramics are symbols of significant stories of Hopi heritage and history. For example, an abstract geometric bird's wings re reference the migration and movement of the Hopi people to their land. As Nampeo's techniques improved, she began to create her own unique designs and patterns. The Santa Fe Railroad expanded to the southwest about the same time that Nampeo was making pottery. A tourist would stop by the trading post and purchase indigenous arts and crafts, which was a great source of income for many Native American communities. By age 20, Nampeo was a well-known ceramicist, and her notoriety grew as she traveled the country demonstrating her craft. Many indigenous women were creating artwork during this time period that Nampeo, Nampeo was most visible, and her name added an extra value for curators and, curators and collectors. <clears throat> Artists such as Nampeo and the expansion of transportation in the Southwest helped to spark a new interest in the indigenous crafts throughout America and Europe. In old age, Napeo began to lose her eyesight, but she continued to work. Her entire family would help paint her ceramics. In 1952, she passed away at the age of 83 and her grandchildren and great-grandchildren uh, continued her pottery dynasty. Over here we have created a Renaissance and Hopi pottery. Her work is still sought after and highly prized by collectors, helped to introduce the world to indigenous ceramics. And here is her quote, when I first began to paint, I used to go for the ancient village and pick up pieces of pottery and copy the designs. This is how I learned to paint. But now I close my eyes and see the designs and I paint them. Uh, is of both Tewi and Hopi descent, both have influenced her pottery. Her Tewi means snake that does not bite. She taught classes at a Hopi house in a Grand Canyon. She was the most photograph ceramicist. We all learned something. Bye, friends.